He was in that tree. And he flew to that tree. I barely saw him. There's a girl. For her. Usually there's more than one though. Man, go! We're out grouse hunting this morning. Hunting's good so far. This is the third one we've seen and the second one we've got. Unfortunately, I hit this one and it wasn't dead all the way. So I pulled its head off. Bandit's eating it right now, but it's a young male. Had a little red above its eye. Really cool bird. This year, we're using a gun that we bought. Uh, I think we bought it over the winter, but it's a really nice uh, Winchester SXP. And this is a 20 gauge shotgun. So it's a little smaller than a 12 gauge and it's a little bigger than a 410. This thing is doing an awesome job. We usually hunt these with the 22. Getting this rifle has made it a whole lot easier. So we got the second one here. Really nice, really, really nice looking bird. Look at the feathers on his tail. I think I saw a male earlier too. Orange. You got him. You got him by yourself. So we're going to continue what we've been doing this morning, which is just rolling up the trail. They're usually in the trail or in the trees close to it or that's the easiest spot to see them. And they come down the trail and they like to eat the little rocks as like grit, help them digest their food. So we're gonna load up again and head up the trail. Got our coffee, of course. These grouse are absolutely delicious. They're probably like one of my favorite birds to eat. Got two so far, pretty exciting stuff. Hopefully we can get a few more. Usually when we come out here, we'll get like a handful and we always miss one or two. And these grouse are spruce grouse. So they're found around clumps of spruce trees too. And they usually are in like groups, but for some reason, Eric and I, whenever we find grouse, it's usually just one bird. Rarely have we seen it with multiples. So we'll see, we still got more of the trail to do. And then on the way back, we may see some on the way out too. I'm excited for the meal we have planned. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep heading, heading on down the trail. <laughs> Boy, they're such a good pup. really nice ones yeah. well we got two more we switched up our tactic we parked the players at the top of that hill we've been walking for a little while we heard some fly I didn't see where they went Ariel saw them and we saw one in that tree and then we saw another one this is awesome I'm gonna take another quick look around see if we see any more those are two nice birds got them perfect good job bandit you found them dude got this perfect little compartments for our birds. We're going to enjoy this lovely day. There's such beautiful sunshine today. We're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna head back out the way we came in and hopefully see some more birds. We actually went hunting about a week ago, moose hunting, 
and one of our axles was starting to make a clicking noise, which means it's gonna break. And now it's really making a clicking noise. So it's broken, one of our back ones. But I thought for sure we were gonna have to winch up that. We went down that on the way in and now we're on the way out, but awesome, made it up. How are you gonna do yours? I was gonna let you do it. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna rip the breast open. Okay. And uh, cut the breast meat out. We can do that way. Here, and this guy hit him right in the body. Oh, no. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> this guy was eating spruce needles, little buds and stuff. Yeah. Get out of here. Peppy, this is really not. Okay, here. Come on. Wow. I think the male Dang. the male was the biggest. That's a big one. And no no shots of him. He was eating all spruce needles. I know. That's all I he was really eating. I think that's like can I just blow it? I think it's like really comical. Look at that birch bark just take off. Insane. Well, we made it back to the cabin. We ended up with four spruce grouse, and we did see two on the way back. One of them I chased through the woods pretty far, but he got away. So we got these four. We're gonna make our spin on chicken and waffles. We're gonna be making spruce grouse waffle sandwiches with a chanterelle mushroom gravy, and we're cooking it all on the rocket stove. We're gonna be using our little cast iron waffle maker. We've only used this thing a handful of times, but I think we got the hang of it. Works pretty good. Our trick is you gotta oil it up every time you put a waffle in here. So I'm gonna use a little piece of butter and then I'm gonna rub it in there. Make sure nothing sticks. Oh yeah, this thing's hot. Oil both sides here. Flip it over for a second. And then we got our waffle batter, and this was easy to make. It was flour, sugar, bacon powder, salt, eggs, and some coconut oil. A little bit of sugar in there too. So let's see if we can get one of these going. Would you like to hold that up for me, Ariel? Yeah, fluffy one. Don't want to burn it, 
so I'm gonna keep flipping it. This rocket stove cooks. A little longer. Okay. Eh, not too bad for the first one. Let's add more butter. like that yeah I don't really okay this one sticks without issues whoa look at that that one's done that was awesome didn't stick let's see if this side sticks it smells like the fair oh yeah we're getting good Wood in there. It's a little rocket stove. Freaking cooks. Huh? I think it's really good for this because of how high they need to be. And it barely uses any wood. You know, I mean, you have to start like a whole campfire. You That's just... actually true. It's for very coffee. efficient. For coffee, this thing boil it like that. It's because it's a rocket stove. It's, yeah, it's, it's designed to use not that much wood. And they use some sort of rocket or something. No, like a rocket. It's chimney bricks. Yeah, eat that. That's good stuff. There you go. Any good? Tastes like carnival fair to me. It does taste like carnival fair. Oh, look at that one. You're getting real good that with these, right? Yeah, yes. we got one more to do. All right, cook this last one and we'll fry up the chicken. Nice job. Oh my gosh, I barely made enough batter, huh? You made the perfect amount. Whew, Maybe not enough batter. There you go. We have tenderized our little breasts of grouse meat to these nice little pieces. And I got a little flour type breading on there, which is flour, smoked paprika. We have salt, pepper, and then some dried sage from the garden from last year. And we're gonna fry this up in a little bit of moose fat. Looks like I can fit three in there. Let me get one more going. These smell so good. That's insane. Well, chicken fried steak is one of my favorite meals, and I really like these grouse, so. I don't know. <laughs> it's hot. Well, it's fantastic, but surprisingly, grouse is really good. It has like a deep, deep woodsy flavor, but this is, this tastes like almost identical to chicken fried steak, so really good. These are turning out amazing. And when these are done, we're gonna use the drippings in the pan. All that good flavor. We're gonna add the mushrooms, we're gonna add some flour and some of our homemade chicken stock and we're gonna make just an awesome gravy and we're just gonna put a ton of it on these sandwiches. I can smoke my Oh, yeah, it smells good. 
those saute. Look at all that juice in there. Turn off some of that juice. <sighs> yeah, that gravy, that's where it's at. You gotta try this, Ariel. That is good. <laughs> I was already looking at my sandwich. It's really good. <laughs> it looks really good. Man. It's like if you walked into a restaurant and ask for like the Thanksgiving special, but it they've brought out like the like, best thing that's ever been created there. It does taste like Thanksgiving. Like diner, Thanksgiving, combined, and went to the moon. This is the gravy train right here. Wow. I know. This is a nice way to celebrate fall. Fall in Alaska is very brief. It's my favorite time of the year, but it's very brief. It's like three weeks is all you get to see the colorful leaves and everything. So the leaves are already starting to fall off and before you know it, winter will be here. I think it's over, we're here. Yeah, I think it's over too. This is so good. We had a nice day out there and we'll catch you on the next video. Enjoy this meal. <laughs> it's so good. It's, it's, it's honestly ridiculously. It's a really good waffle too. The whole thing is outstanding. Watch out for BBs. Hour and a half later. Here we are. Wow. It's chicken and waffles. Waffles and then chi It's waffle with like fried chicken, like on really fried on it. And then they usually put like a little maple syrup. I was wondering that. So no gravy? We put gravy on ours? This actually would have been good with the cranberry sauce. Dang. That's fun. Look at all these mushrooms just laid out on this.